What's up, everyone? Okay, so we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be playing a fellow chess YouTuber. Mix it up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to be playing Curb. He's also... Fix my lights. He's also been doing the 1000 uh, ELO grind. Except the difference between him and me is that he's already completed it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he finished a thousand yellow thing faster than I did. <laughs> okay, though, no shame, no shame. Okay, let's see how we do. I'm fully expecting to lose here, but I'm going to put up a fight. <laughs> it's okay, we're just playing for fun here, so... Just a friendly match. I think he's going to try to trap my light square bishop in. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen. Very aggressive g4 here. Kind of expecting to see h4 come next. If I see h4, I'll probably just go h6. Create a little hidey hole for my light square bishop here, and then hopefully we can just trade it off on d3. Mm, okay. Um, debating between e6 and h6 right now. I think I'm just going to play the safe insurance route here. And tuck this guy away. Probably e6 next. Interesting. I've seen this idea before and I'm always I'm always so curious about it. But let's see. Okay, probably E6. I've been trying to figure out if Queen B6 is an idea here. I think what g4 does is just prevents the knight from getting onto a natural square on f5. I think that's the idea with g4. But maybe I'm wrong. Otherwise the knight's kind of forced to try to like travel to c6 or something like that. Yeah, because I can't really go h6 with my knight anymore. I can't really go f6 with my knight. And then the bishop needs a place to go, so I'm actually happy to just trade these off. Hmm. Probably you can go for the b pawn. No, no. I there's one thing I have to do and it's it's really just it's really just castling ASAP. Hmm. Maybe H6 was no, I think H6 was still good. I think I played a really similar position in yesterday's second game. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think uh, I remember the idea of getting the bishop out to b4 was not recommended by the engine. Maybe c5 is just too early right now. Hmm. Ideas, ideas, ideas. Yeah, I want to focus on developing these two. I go queen b6, he just has a4. Maybe I like offered the trade here or something. I'm gonna 
play something a little unnatural just for the sake of getting 97 out. SG4 is really interesting. I'll have to ask him after the game if it's just to prevent the knight from getting out to f5. I'm really curious myself. I think I'm actually okay to just get rid of the dark square bishop here. I remember when I was doing the review in yesterday's game, um, the opponent attacked the bishop here on b4, and I had this idea of sort of trying to run it away but maintaining the pin. Um, but the engine actually recommended just getting rid of the knight, or excuse me, yeah, well, yeah, getting rid of the knight and basically trading it off for your bishop, so... I'll just try that this game. I think the only downside to that is that it sort of loses in a defender on c5. So then the pawn push is a little bit awkward. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Cool, yeah, also I'll have a link to uh, Curb's YouTube channel in the description below, so definitely go check out his channel. He's a pretty good player. I think we kind of have like a similar style where we like to just kind of talk through our moves and everything. So kind of a fun collab here. I'm really tempted to push c5. I kind of want to autopilot knight e7. But it's probably the move. I'm just going to go knight e7. Yeah, I was waiting for that, so I think I'm just going to trade the knight off here at this point. Yeah, fully expecting him to take with the queen here. Mm. Just going to play it safe here. This pawn's very weak. So I'm kind of foreseeing a queenside castle. I was just about to say it. <laughs> I was just looking at his pawn structure and I figured he wasn't going to go king side. So it's going to this going to make for a very exciting game. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting move. I think the last thing we want to do is get the knight out, push c5 and then try to get the rook out to the c file. And then we have to figure out how we're going to just hurl everything towards his towards his uh, queen side here. I wonder if pushing g5 is actually a good move at this point. Since he has two defenders on g5 and I only have the one pawn and I've blocked my queen in. It's kind of an interesting idea. Yeah, I think rook on the c file and then starting to push c5 is going to be the play. Yeah, so I'm kind of expecting g5 next. So... 
I'm gonna do something. I'm kind. I'm. I'm really expecting CG5. I might honestly actually just push up H5 if he does this. Yeah, I don't want to trade off because I'm just gonna be losing here. Hmm. I think actually H5. If he pushes up, I might actually just take. Um, and then it opens up the f-file for my rook to start scoping these pieces here. I'm actually just going to go h5. h5 might be a mistake in the long run, but we'll see. I really want to just go c5 already so I can get my knight out. Also, I do just have a kind of a, a nice square for this knight here. I finally have f5 for my knight, which I think is going to be good. At some point, the pawns need to start coming up as well. Interesting idea here. Hmm. I kind of want to go f5 to per add some extra pressure over here to d4. But... Maybe knight c5 is actually better. If he takes on c5. But knight c5 and attacking the queen is going to force his queen around a little bit. His queen has no way in on this light square diagonal here. And he's setting up the break here. Hmm. Maybe I bring my queen out. Look for the batteria. Interesting. So if he pushes and I take... What's going to happen there? Do I just block this in or do I take? Yeah, for some reason, I just like the idea of like knight f5. Could always attack his queen and continue the pawn march. Actually, maybe this d4 isn't as valuable since... Maybe taking like the d4 pawn is not as valuable since he's gone queenside. So maybe just harassing his queen is more valuable here in this point and then trying to... Pressure this C file. I think I'll just attack his queen. What's the worst that can happen, right? I do need to be really mindful of the rook on the same file as my king on the g-file here. The question is, is he going to bring his queen over to the king's side, or is he going to leave it attacking my queen side? Yeah, I think he's going to bring it over. I feel like at this move it's going to be like a really critical move if he hops his knight somewhere which his knight doesn't really have too much places to go I mean I my pawn becomes undefended mm -hmm. I either want to go queen c7 or queen b6 and just starting to add more pressure this way. Hmm. Yeah, I'm debating between like knight f5 
for getting the queen out to c7 or b6. Hmm. Yeah, the queen's got to come out. Don't really want to leave the queen on the same diagonal as his bishop. I know it's locked in, but I'm kind of expecting a knight move next for some reason. To try to get this pawn. Hmm. Hmm. Pressuring his bishop this way is kind of interesting. It's going to force his bishop back, right? Well, no. If I go knight g6, it's going to block in any defenders from the pawn if he moves his knight. But I would win a bishop out of it. Hmm. I don't know. Lots of interesting ideas here. Not really sure which one's the best, per se. Lots of ideas here. Lots of ideas. It's got two defenders on d4. So I don't really want to harass d4 because I think he can protect d4 too easily. I think I just have to keep pressuring his king side. I think that's really all it has to come down to. Um, just go c7. <laughs> I'm really unsure. I'm really unsure about that move. I, I felt like in that last position there was... Curb, sorry for wasting three minutes of your life on that last move. <laughs> you probably went out and got lunch. But, um... Yeah, I felt like there was a lot of good options on that last move. So that's why it was quite the debate. Yeah, the e7 knight is really pointless at the moment. So probably getting it out and just planting it on f5, I feel like, will be strong. I think getting the queen out to c3 is probably too early. He's got plenty of defense. Oh, he locks in. Interesting, okay. Interesting. Maybe we just continue to try to break open his pawns here. Hmm. Interesting idea. Very interesting. I'm just going to go knight f5 because I think it's a good spot for the knight. Yeah. It's a good place to plant it. The pawns can't harass it, so I think it's a bit of an outpost at this point. Yeah, this is like his weakest piece right now. I wonder how I can try to harass it. I mean, he has tons of places to escape, so it's not like it's trapped or anything. But it is loose. So, it's something that just should be considered. Man, it would be nice to, like, plant a knight on this square here. Interesting. So you want to trade those off. I kind of don't want to get rid of the knight here. Um, 
Because I think the knight is just going to be valuable with the pawns locked in like this. You know, like if I can get a knight out to this square, um, I feel like it's going to be able to harass a little bit. So do I want to get rid of it? I don't know. I don't know what's more valuable here. I think he's offering the trade. I think I'm just going to leave it here and try to get this knight more in the game. I think first I'm going to push a pawn up and try to get the knight out to b6 just so I don't block the pawns from marching upwards. I see. What does that do? Oh, he's maybe protecting B3 there. Hmm. Ideas. I think I'll just take some space. I'm gonna try to overwhelm his pawns. <laughs> oh no. No, oh, I totally missed that. Oh, that was the idea here. Yeah, I missed that. I missed that. I forgot about that piece, yeah. Okay, well this is probably gonna be trouble for me. Hmm. Could try to attack that. No, I think if I push up, he's going to start pushing his H pawn. I think taking his bishop here is going to be the idea. Well, no, he, he'll just retake with the rook. And if he takes with, retakes with the rook, it's going to be really bad. Hmm. Yeah, he's just going to get his rook out here. Hmm. Hmm. Now the bishop's not really like a huge threat. I'm just going to try something. I'm going to try to just attack his king side more. Yeah, I did see that coming. But I don't think the trade is favorable here. I'd rather get my knight out and break this open at this point. I think it's a bit of a trap. Hmm. What if I just what if I just let him have this? Hmm. I think this is gonna be okay. Maybe I just blundered here, but <gasps> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I should have opened my eyeballs. <laughs> I guess that was a bit of a forced move there, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, GG, GG's. <laughs> oh man, I wasn't paying attention to that. I feel so dumb. <laughs> no, that's too bad.
Uh, I really wanted this game to go on. I should have paid better attention. Uh, I should have better, paid better attention to that. Well, let's do the game review. I was being that was really dumb. <laughs> I feel like a bit of a klutz not noticing that. Yeah, blunder. No, so obvious too. <laughs> uh, feels bad. Feels bad. Wonder if he maybe wants to do one more. How about let me see if he wants to do one more rapid game. Let's do the game review in the meantime, but I'd kind of be up for a rematch just for like a 10 minute no increment. Kind of a lame way to lose. I was hoping we could get, oh, I played like a 650, nice. <laughs> I was hoping we could get in a longer game. That would have been more fun. Okay, so E4, C6. So far, book ideas. Oh, interesting idea. I wouldn't have thought to play e4. Is e4 a book move? No, it's just a move. Hmm, interesting. e4, I have to keep that in mind. Hmm, h6. Yeah, I didn't fully understand the idea behind uh, bishop f4. I think it was just to get the bishop out. Okay, looks like he's up for a 10-minute uh, rapid game. He said we both played so bad. <laughs> I'm going to say one of us played worse than the other. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do uh let's do one more game. I want to get an actual like real game going. Right here I'm going to send him the link. I'll get back to that review in a little bit. Yeah, let's start the game up. All right, cool. Let's do it. Okay, I got the white pieces today. Today, this time. Okay, he's going for the anti-London system. Oh, cool with me. Cool with me. Yeah. Okay, I expected that. F six. Yep. Very good, very good. I go back and forth about bishop d3 here uh, against this pawn structure. I'm kind of like, me. is it good or not? I don't know. I also don't know if the London is generally good against this setup here. But I guess we'll find out. Hmm. Hmm. Trading off. Maybe I just trade off and try to open up the file for the rook. Hmm. That's kind of an idea. Hmm. That is kind of an idea. Wonder. Wonder if G five is even better here. Um. Open file. Get the queen out to here or something. Yeah, I'm just going to try this open file thing. At the very least, it'll make for a somewhat exciting game. Doesn't want to trade. Interesting. Um, okay, how do I harass this? I can't really castle that way anymore. Uh, let's see, how can I maybe trade pieces off here? Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. That's fine. 
I'll try an open file. I think he's kind of forced my hand there. Yeah, he's got three attackers here, so I'm going to be in a slightly worse off position here. <clears throat> hmm, what if I push up? Yeah, if I push up, he just, uh, he doesn't really have the fork. Hmm, pushing up is an interesting idea. One, two, three. I only have an extra knight here. It's going to be unfavorable for me. Hmm. I'm going to try this. D5. I don't think the trade's worth it here. I need to figure out how to just get my pieces out to here. Hmm. Knight G5 is not going to work. Interesting. Uh, I'm expecting a fork next. So I think I'm just going to have to push up here. Yeah, he had the pawn fork there. So this kind of had to get played. I mean, one of the pieces could have just went back too, but... Mm -hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Man, his knights are really harassing my bishops here. <laughs> uh, am I forced to do this trade? Let's think about this. Hmm. Would I rather trade here? I think I'd rather just trade off here. Oh, and again, I get forked. <laughs> I think I should have just accepted that trade. Yeah, he has the e4 fork here. It's going to be a little rough for me. Eh, I messed up there. Uh, Well, no, I can take with the light scar bishop and then my queen's defending if he takes with the knight. I take that back. I take that back. I kind of want to trade the knights off on e4. Also, I want to just connect the rooks too. That's why I kind of want to move knight e4. So the rooks can at least connect. Maybe I can just go for a nice sack or something. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to offer the trade here. Probably have to retake with the queen on d3. I still can't believe I missed that checkmate in the first game. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> Those are always the worst. Yeah, I don't want to, um, I don't want to let his pawn advance here. Hmm, maybe I just castle queen's, queen side. Hmm. Yeah, that actually might be the best way to just connect the rooks at this point. Make for another exciting match. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Do I still get forked here? No, uh, no, I don't think I get forked. Is he going to be looking for this fork? I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. I 
have the pawn uh, d6 check. Uh, but then he can take my knight. Uh, well, no, I just retake back with the pawn here. Yeah, this this move will be pretty sick. Oh, yeah, nice move. Yeah, he, he saw it. He saw it. <laughs> okay. And try it. Oh dang. Uh, this seems okay. Uh, if, oh, my knight's pinned. Yeah, shoot. Maybe I, no. Maybe I should go make a bigger threat here. Hmm. I could try to pin his pawn. Uh, yeah, if he takes, I just take his queen back. Let's think about this. Uh, I'm going to try it. I know it's kind of weird, but. I think if he takes yeah, either of these pieces, I win his queen back, so. I mean, I do have mate here if I can just get my queen over here to h7. Like if he doesn't take, I just recapture with the bishop here. Oh. That is good for me. Yeah, I think this is good. I think I think it's okay. My knight's still pinned though, so I need to just unpin it already. Be mindful of that square. There's like too much hurling down at my queen. I need to just move her already. Hmm. You know what would be funny? Sacking a rook here and then cutting his queen off. I think I'm just going to push my pawn up, plant my bishop here, and then try to look for this move. Oh no, I was really hoping he wouldn't take that. <laughs> That's fine. I think I'm... what am I really losing here? Hmm. What if I went for the check? Yeah, it just loses a rook. Oh, does it though? Hmm. I'm going to probably have to go for it. Uh, this rook is pinned here. I kind of want to just trade it off. He's got two attackers on this knight, so I'm going to be losing a pawn if I go that way. And his bishop? And I think I really could have done something if I had just gotten my bishop out onto d5 and then looked for the uh, the rook sack there and the check. I guess the only problem is he could have defended h6 with his bishop there. Uh, yeah, true. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea. Have to be careful not to get back ranked here. He could maybe just bring the... Oh, no, he can't bring the rook in to defend this. No, I'm just kidding. He does have a dark square bishop. Man, he has the bishop pair. That's going to be hard to deal with. London system, open h file.
I'm okay with this. I know he's looking for the... Whoops. Blundered that. <laughs> Blunder parade. Uh, let's see, let's see. That was a big blunder. Big blunder. That was a big mistake. <laughs> no, my window. Boom. Takes. Boom. Takes. Yeah, so I kind of have to leave the uh, defenders here. Uh, maybe I just have to start moving the knight around here. Hmm. Kind of tempted to bring the king out. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I get checked here and I'm going to lose a pawn if I do that. And it's not going to be worth it. Um, That's going to lose a pawn. Shoot. I think I just have to get the pawns involved. I have to be careful not to hang this pawn if I push b4. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Yeah, this is losing this pawn here. Um, Go protect. Yeah. Hmm, could do this. Block in this way. I don't know if it's good. Oh no, that loses. Whoops. Not playing my best today. Oh no. Things are not looking good. Yeah, yeah, GG's. No way of saving that. Boom, yoink. Um, take a pawn, maybe. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, miscalculated that. That should have been obvious. No. There's always hope. I think he has to defend with the bishop here. Or just go for the check. My king is a little bit locked in. Whoops, a daisy. Who knows, maybe I can score a queen out of this and that'll be pretty sick. I'm pretty sure at this point he can honestly just sack a rook and go promote a pawn. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, how am I gonna get out of this? Oh, oh. Hmm. Loses. Maybe I shouldn't have stacked these, huh? Mm, I have to defend this one. Oh, he just takes it for free. Yeah, it sucks.
Damn. My beautiful pawn. Doesn't really do anything for me. Can win these. Damn. Hmm. Rough, 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 rough. I'm trying to hold in. Uh, maybe I should have went and attacked his bishop. Uh, either way, he was just going to stay on the diagonal, so. Um, I guess my next best move is to try to... I mean, his bishop is a little blocked in here. He's just going to fall back. Yeah. Uh, I can't even take this pawn anymore. Perhaps I can attack the rook. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> I tried my best. I tried, I tried. GG, GG. <laughs> uh, I made a couple bad moves there. There was two bad moves. Yeah, there was two bad moves. Let me do the game review for the first game real fast. Um, Up until sort of that last blunder there. Um, Where were we? I think we were on G4. Okay, yes. Yeah, so E4 was the move. What is this dreaded red arrow? Let me refresh this. Okay, there it goes. Um, okay, so e6. So trading off was an idea here. Oh, getting the knight out. Interesting idea. Didn't look like it was the worst idea, though. Okay, so early c5 was an idea. Okay. Pushing c5. Yeah, I think I should have pushed c5 a lot sooner. Yeah, the engine was recommending c5. I just wanted to develop all my pieces before pushing up. I'm glad h5 was the idea, at least, though. It's so funny how, like, the engine recommends c5 for, like, four moves straight. And then the one time I played, it's like, no, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Not the down button. Now it was a mistake. Back in the queen was okay. Pushing up. Getting the rook out here? Interesting idea. This move might cause trouble for you. Really? Knight f5? Really? I wonder what the engine were to say about this here. This makes white position better, right? Because he just moves the knight and he just takes this pawn. Yeah. Rough, rough, rough. Uh, at this point, I was just trying to hurl pawns at him. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what this move did, and I totally forgot that h5 was under attack there. Yeah, once he got the queen out there, and then it was all over. Yeah, I should have noticed this. I, I feel really dumb for this, but this is going to um cause me to lose, lose sleep at night and hopefully never forget about it ever again. Um, Let's take a look at our second game. I wonder, wow, well, he played really well. 80% versus 76%. Yeah, he kind of just got the slow and painful death on me there. At least we both played a little bit better this game. Okay, so he goes for the bishop g7 move. I feel like b bishop g7 is just really hard to play into with the London system. Ah. And I was really debating between uh, bishop g5, but it seemed like he could just... I don't know. Like, what's the continuation after this? Hmm. I see. Bishop g5. Okay. I'm going to have to remember this. Okay. And then we can still castle. I see. Wow, that's quite the continuation. Let's um stop. 
Hmm. I'm going to have to remember this. Bishop g5 sort of pins the pawn, forces his queen to move. Hmm. Yeah, because I guess with g5, the only way for him to really attack that is to push a pawn up. Right, but then that's sort of going to weaken his whole structure. So that's an interesting idea there. I'll have to remember that. See, at this point, I was looking. I think what I should have done here was like, what is what does it say about knight g5? Actually, never mind. I was thinking of attacking the knight, but I was disregarding the fact that I was defended. So never mind all that. A4. Yeah. Taking here. I thought taking was worse off. Right? Because then what? Bishop c4? Yeah, the bishop has to move, right? Okay. I see. Hmm. Darn. This wasn't the right idea today. I saw the fork coming, so I'm happy about that. Uh, taking with the knight. I see. This is bad, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I guess if he recaptures, I just take back with the queen, and then we're still pretty even. So I kind of disregarded that during the game. This is an opportunity to punish a mistake, sure. Hmm. Yeah, I thought offering the trade here was good. I honestly really liked uh, bishop c4 here because it uh, if he, I don't know, let's just say did this, could have went for this check um, and then he's forced to move. Um, I can take his queen and then could have won a rook as well. So it, it was really good of him that he saw this move coming. Uh, it was a really simple move, but I think sort of a lower rated players may have missed it easily but um i thought it was a fun idea either way yeah king h8 was definitely the play there castling queenside was definitely not <laughs> the play yeah pawn e4 was like devastating yeah yeah there was just no good idea i thought this would have been a good idea but i guess not so trading queens off this way. Oh, I guess I could have won a, a rook, huh? Oh no, I couldn't have even done that. No, it still loses a bishop. Yeah, pawn e4 was really good. I thought I had some clever ideas here, but I guess I guess I was wrong. Hmm. This is a mistake, huh? Ignore an opportunity to move a knight to safety. But aren't I losing a rook if I move the knight to safety? I don't get it. Oh, it's an even trade. Uh, didn't really think about it that way. Good to know. Really? Oh, right. Even if he took, even if he took here and I took, he can always just take back. And then he has the attack on the pawn. I have to push up. Oh, interesting idea. And I'm definitely not playing my best today. Uh, this knight move was really dumb. I totally ignored that he had uh, uh, two attackers on uh, d2 there. That was a really bad move. Yeah, it was basically over at this point. I was trying to find some way to get this pawn up the board, but um, that bishop was just going to block this whole entire idea. There, there was no way I was going to catch that bishop. Hmm. Yeah, he pinned the pawn there too. Yeah, good move by him. He also could have just planted his bishop there, right? Yeah, he could have just planted that bishop as well. Yeah. Either way, the position was so easy for him at this point. Um, he played really well. Yeah, I think my worst mistake, and then it was uh, basically made after this. I think my worst mistake was 
making that really dumb rook move on g4 and just failing to recognize that that <laughs> bishop was still defended. <laughs> that was a early onset dementia moment there. And then bringing that knight out to d2, failing to recognize that it was attacked twice. Um, yeah, that was also a mistake. So, but yeah, either way, GG, thanks for the games. Some friendly games here with a fellow YouTuber. Curb, everybody go check out Curb's channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one.